Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Thank you for the occasion. My name is Rizal Ainur Rahman, and in this occasion, I would like to present about my research entitled The Student Mastery Level in Identifying and Pronouncing English Song Ta, The, and Ta, a case of the seventh grade of Sembe Semesta Semarang. For the background of the study, the first English is simply different from Bahasa Indonesia and as the student first language. That is why there are some mistakes in producing oral English made by the student. In some non-English speaking countries, for example in Indonesia, some English sounds do not exist in Bahasa Indonesia. This absent and different element of certain sound may cause difficulties for students to produce the sound. For instance, the sound th and th. Then, Ramlan 2003 also stated that Mother tongue has been deeply implanted in human as part of their habit. It will be difficult for him to change the habit of moving his speech organ in such a way as to produce the foreign sound. And then Shafi'i 1988 also stated that the learner effort to learn the new language will meet with strong opposition from his old established habit. Some research have been done related to this present study. The first, Astuti 2014, found that the student tend to pronounce t and th instead of the sound th. This may happen because the sound th does not exist in their first language and the student do not use sound th in their daily communication. This finding gives evidence to the statement that non-existent sound in the mother tongue may cause difficulties in pronouncing certain sound. And then Wulan 2018 found that the common error made by the student is fricative th. And the student changed voice dental fricative th with ta and t. And also and the subject also changed the sound th with sound ta. And the next quan 2019 explained English pronunciation problems for students from mainland China. Found that the sound th and the were the most problematic sound. They mostly adopt the substitution way to pronounce a near sound in the Mandarin Chinese. Example, s to replace the sound th, while for the sound th, it mostly substituted by the sound t and z, since the sound could be taken from Hayupian as their mother tongue. Therefore, this present study will not only focus on the production of the sound, but also how they identify or perceive it and categorize the student mastery level according to the criterion level suggested by Cronun, 1981. And for the research questions, the first is, in which level do high school students identify the English on th, th, and th, and in which level do high school students produce or pronounce the English on th, th, and th. Therefore, the research objective are to find out in which level high school students intend to find the English on th, th, and th, and to find out in which level and to describe this high school student mastery in pronouncing English on th, th, and th. And the reason for choosing the topic, the first, many teachers and students do not care or pay attention on how well they can master English pronunciation. And then the research shows the mastery level in identifying and pronouncing the English sound th, th, and th as the, ab as the object of the research since the sound th and th are not found in Bahasa Indonesia and often being substituted by the sound th. And then the significance of this study, the study is expected to be able to give advantage for student, teacher, and also other researcher. Firstly, the student can get benefit, benefit from the result of this study by knowing their pronunciation level and improve their pronunciation. Secondly, the study can help teacher to develop student ability in pronouncing English on th, th, and th in the learning process and to reduce error in their pronunciation. Lastly, the research hope that the finding of this study give inspiration or references to other researchers to conduct research with a similar scope. And then, there are some relevant theories underlining this study, started by a theory about definition of pronunciation, which stated by Harnby 2015, and then Paulston and Parker 1976, Otlowski 1998, Dalton and Seidhofer 2001, and Richard and Smith 2002. Besides this theory, 
about pronunciation, the researcher also presents some theories about pronunciation problem stated by Shafi'i, 1988, Ramlan, 2003, and Aldin, 1993. Since there are some problems with pronunciation, the researcher also presents some theories about the production of the speech sounds. That stated by Lady Fox and Johnson, 2001, and Ramlan, 2003. And then a theory about English consonants stated by Ramlan 2003, a theory about perception and production stated by Troy K 2012, and a theory about mastery which stated by Mosher 2007 and Cronlund 1981. This study focused on the student mastery level in identifying and pronouncing the sound. It was observed by doing perception and production tests. Then, the data were analyzed to determine the student mastery level in identifying and pronouncing English sounds TA, THE, and TA. The procedure of data analysis are based on the ELIS 2003, and after getting the result, the researcher write down the conclusion and suggestion based on the findings. And this study applies a descriptive qualitative method. The study is conducted at SMB semester. And then the student of the the subject of the research is seven grad student of SMB Semesta Semarang in the academic year 2019-2020. There are two classes that participate in the study, 7A and 7B, and the total of participants are 40 students. Most of them have already learned English since elementary school. The object of this study is the student mastery level in identifying and pronouncing English sound th, th, and th. And then the research acts to role as a data collector and as a data analyst. And then the first and then the first source of the data is the score of listening test, and the second source of data is the result of the pronunciation test, in which the researcher could also analyze the error made by the student in pronounce in pronouncing English sound th, th, and th. And then the instrument of the research, the first is listening test, consists of 30 questions and 10 questions on each sound. And then pronunciation test consists of 30 words, which the student have to read aloud while their voice are recorded. And then criterion of interpreting the data. The criterion used here as the instrument is interpreting in interpreting the data is based on Cronlund 1981. Whether they are outstanding, very good, satisfactory, very weak, or unsatisfactory. And then the procedure of collecting the data. The first, the researcher make the test instrument containing random English sound th, th, and th, and then make recording of word that pre and prepare the answer sheet. And then the test is, dis is distributed to the student, and the researcher explain how to do the test. The recording will be played only one time. When the researcher plays the recording, the student has to choose one word that has a different sound from the other. The student chose the letter A, B, C for the correct option in their answer sheet. Therefore, the data from the listening test would be in the form of score. And then for pronunciation test, prepare a list of words containing English on the, the, and the on a piece of paper, and then distribute it to the paper to the student and explain how to do the test. The students are asked to pronounce the word contained in English sound th, th, and th by reading aloud the word individually while their pronunciation are recorded. Call each student randomly to come in front of the class and read the word loudly, and then make a phonetic transcription of the student recording by listening to them carefully, and then compare with the correct one based on the Oxford Advanced Learner's Dictionary to count the error. As a result, the, the data from the pronunciation test would be in the form of phonetic transcription and the test score. And then the procedure of analyzing the data, according to Alice 2003, in analyzing the data, it is needed to follow three steps, which are the first identifying. Uh, in this part, the researchers checking the student answer and then describing. And in this part, the researcher calculate the average and also the percentage the percentage of student's score, and then explaining which the researcher met with the mastery life mastery criterion suggested by Cronlund 1981 to get the result. And then for the finding, 
The mastery level of seven great students of assembly semester in identifying English sound further and the in the listening test, the overall proportion of the correct answer was 79%, and the student mastery level in identifying the sound was categorized as satisfactory. It was divided into 86% correct answer in the sound th, 73 correct answer in the sound the, and 77% correct answer in the sound th. The comparison of proportion of correct answer for, for each sound could be seen in the chart. Based on the chart, the student mastery level in identifying sound the was categorized as very good, for the sound the was categorized as very weak, while for the sound the was categorized as satisfactory. And then the analysis of student mastery in identifying English sound the in the listening test of the sound the, the result explained that 86% question of sound the were well mastered by the student which categorized as very good. And it shows that the student faced more difficulties in perceiving sound the in the initial position of the word three and in the middle position of the word healthy. The total error are 55, 26 in the initial position, 20 in the middle, and 9 in the final position. The, for the error, the student tend to hear the word three as three, thumb as time, through as true, throw as true, thousand as Simpson, healthy as happily, nothing as losing, something as something, math as mad, and then breath as breath. And in the listening test of sound the, of sound the, the result explained that 73% question of sound the were well mastered by the student, which categorized as very weak. And it, the result indicated that the sound the was more difficult to be perceived by the student than the sound the. The student, the most difficult word to be perceived by the student were the word breathe and other. Total error are 107 in the 41 in the initial, 39 in the middle, and 27 in the final. The error made by the student are they tend to hear the word they as they, thus as des, them as sum, there as dear, this as sis, other as other, brother as brother, weather as water, sudden as sudden, and then breathe as breathe. Well, in the listening test of Santa, students did better in identification of Santa than they did in the identification of Santa. The result explained that 77% of questions of the Santa were well mastered by the student with categories as satisfactory. The most difficult word which could not be perceived by the student was the word try, which was perceived as dry. Total error are 94. 64 in the initial, 7 in medial, and 23 in final. The student tend to hear the word T as C, try as try, town as town, theme as same, 10 as send, tall as fall, letter as laser, master as muscle, send as send, and then slide as slide. And the analysis of the student wrong perception identifying English sound. In the listening test of the sound th, the student tend to replace the sound th with the sound th, d, s, li, and ch. The replacement of the sound could be seen in the table. From the table, we know that the most students tend to replace the sound th with the sound th. And then the replacement phenomenon of the sound th, s, and d also exists in the listening test of sound the. Based on the listening test result, students tend to hear the sound the, the, and se instead of the sound the. The replacement of the sound could be seen in the table. From the table, we know that most of the students tend to replace the sound the with the sound the. And then, while in the listening test of sound the, the students tend to hear the sound se, the, the, sh and z instead of the sound th in the in the word and then the replacement of 
those on can be seen in the table below. From the table, we know that most students tend to hear the sound D instead of the sound T. The data analysis showed that the students still face difficulties in perceiving English sound Th, Th, and T. And then the most problematic obstruction for the sound Th was the sound T, while for the sound Th was the sound T, and for the sound T was the sound Th. And then for the mastery level of 7th grade student of SMB semester in pronouncing English sound th, th, and th, from the overall performance of the student in pronouncing English sound th, th, and th, the proportion of correct pronunciation was 66%, and the student mastery level in pronouncing the sound was categorized as very weak. It was divided into 30% correct pronunciation in the sound th, 67% correct pronunciation in the sound th, and 100% correct pronunciation in the sound th. The comparison of pro the proportion of correct pronunciation for each student could be seen in the chart. Based on the chart, the student mastery level in pronouncing sound th was categorized as unsatisfactory, for the sound th was categorized as very weak, and for the sound th was categorized as outstanding. And then, for the analysis of student mastery in pronouncing English sound th, Based on the pronunciation test of sound th, the result explained that 30% utterance of the sound th were well mastered by the student. Therefore, the student mastery in pronouncing sound th was categorized as unsatisfactory. Total error error 279, it happened in all positions, initial, medial, and final. The error are the student tend to pronounce the word thang as tang or tang. And then three as three, theory as theory, Thursday as Thursday or Thursday, anything as anything, wealthy as wealthy or wealthy, sympathy as sympathy or sympathy, both as pot, pot or put, path as path or path, and then man as moon, man or moon. And then the student did better pronunciation in the sound th than in the sound th. It shows that 67% utterance of the sound th were well mastered by the student. Therefore, the student mastery level in pronouncing sound th were categorized as very weak. Total error are 132 happened in initial and medial position. Mostly happened in the medial position. The error are the student tend to pronounce the word the as the or the, this as this or this, there as there or dear, and then they as they, father as father, without as without or without, gather as gather or gather, although as all took or all though, and then mother as mother, and other as other. The most Difficult word to be pronounced by the student were the word without and although. While in the pronunciation test of Santa, the student did not face any difficulty. They pronounced all words of the Santa correctly. According to the total correct pronunciation word, the student mastery level in pronouncing consonant Santa was categorized as outstanding. From the result of the pronunciation test, the sound th, th was the most difficult sound to be pronounced well by the student. Then it followed by the sound the, while student did not face any difficulty in pronouncing the sound th, since there was no wrong pronunciation of that sound. And then for the analysis of student incorrect pronunciation in producing English sound th, the, and the, in the pronunciation test of sound th, the student tend to replace the sound th with the sound th, th, s, f, t, and ch, and some students did not pronounce or skip the sound th in the final position of the word. The percentage can be seen in the table. Most students tend to pronounce the sound th instead of the sound th. In the pronunciation test of the sound th, the student tend to pronounce sound th, th, h, and th instead of the sound th in some words. The percentage can be seen in the table. Most students tend to pronounce the sound th instead of the sound th. While 
in the pronunciation of the Santa, it found that there was no wrong pronunciation made by the student. The finding showed that the replacement or substitution phenomenon was the most common way that students did in dealing with the difficulties in pronouncing certain sound. And then we go to the discussion. In the listening test, it shows that the most problematic sound to be perceived by the student was the sound th. The second problematic sound to be perceived was the sound th, and the student did better in perceiving sound th. It happened because the sound th and the were absent in Bahasa Indonesia. They tend to replace the sound th, the, and the with other sound which has similar characteristic that they familiar with in their mother tongue. There are several previous studies whose findings support the finding of this present study. The common replacement of the sound th was the replacement with the sound th, while then it followed by the replacement of the sound th. This finding were related to a study conducted by Fauzia 2017, who did a research about pronunciation problem among Japanese students. She found that the student made error by replacing sound th with ta. It happened in all position. It happened because the sound th and the sound ta were voiceless. In addition, this current research was also supported by Zhang 2017. For them, the finding indicated that the participant of from Chinese university student had difficulty in distinguishing between sound th with sound s. And then in the listening test of sound th, most students face difficulties in differentiating between sound th and sound th, th and sound th, and th and sound s. This finding was supported by a study conducted by Putri 2019 which found that Indonesia students tend to hear the sound t, t, and z instead of the sound z in the listening test. The problem happened because the students were still influenced by their local language sound. In the listening test of sound t, the sound t was the most common sound that the student perceived instead of sound t, then followed by the substitution of the sound t with s, f, and sh. The results were in line with the statement from Ramlan 2003 that most Indonesia students face difficulties in, pron in the pronunciation of English sound T with sound T. It happened since in their language the corresponding voice stop does not occur in the utterance final position and the English alveolar alveolar stop T is partly unvoiced in the utterance in initial and final position. The student would find difficulties in differentiating between the word sen and sen, pit and pit, and another word. And then, from the result of pronunciation test, it shows that the sound th was the most difficult sound to be pronounced well by the student. Then it followed by the sound th, while the student did not face any difficulty in pronouncing the sound th, since the since there was no wrong pronunciation of that sound. This incorrect pronunciation might happen because the sound th and the were absent in Bahasa Indonesia and the student rarely produced the sound in their daily conversation. Some previous study also found that the absence of certain sound in the student mother tongue may cause a problem for, for them. The student tend to replace the sound th with sound th, the, s, Th, th, and some students did not pronounce or skip sound th in the final position of the word. Most of the students tend to pronounce sound th instead of sound th. th. The findings are related to research done by Shabutri 2014, who found that students got difficulties in pronouncing sound th. Most of the students could not pronounce sound th in the word anything and although. They pronounce them as anything and all too. A replacement of sound th with ta was also found by a research conducted by Isnarani 2017. She stated that one of the factors was the unfamiliarity of respondent to pronounce it in daily conversation. And then in the pronunciation of the sound th, the student score was better than they did in the pronunciation of the sound th. The student mostly tend to pronounce th instead of the, then it followed by the replacement of sound th instead of the. 
The finding of this research were supported by a study conducted by Shabudri, 2014, who found that most of the students could not pronounce sound the and replace it by sound the. And this view also supported by another research conducted by N. He et al., 2012. And the research found that the sound the was non existent in Malay and Mandarin language, so it was replaced with another sound the. The finding of this present study also showed that the student had difficulties in pronouncing sound the because it does not is that it does not exist in Bahasa Indonesia as their mother tongue. And then in the pronunciation text of Santa, the student did not make any error pronunciation like what they did in the Santa and the. Uh, it happened because the Santa also exists in Bahasa Indonesia as their mother tongue and the students were familiar with the Santa and used it in their first language. The findings were in line with a research done by Widya Ningtyas, 2014. The result of the research showed that the student did not make error in pronouncing consonant the. And then Mulya, 2018, also found a similar finding in his research. The result of the research found that the student could, the student can pronounce English sound the properly because the sound also exists in Serawi Melayan. Serawi Melayunese dialect. The existence of sound in their mother tongue made the student feel so easy to pronounce that sound. It explained that the student do not face any difficulty in producing sound. This might happen because the sound also exists in Bahasa Indonesia as their mother tongue and the student were familiar with the sound and use it in their communication. And then for the conclusion, based on the research finding in in the previous chapter fr from the data analysis of both listening and speaking test, the research found different finding on its sound. In the listening test of sound th, the student mastery level in identifying sound th was categorized as very good. The student mastery in identifying sound th was categorized as very weak and for the sound th was categorized as satisfactory. From the result above, it can be concluded that the most problematic sound to be identified by the student was the sound the, which shows the lowest score. Then it followed by the sound the, and followed by the sound the. And while in the pronunciation test, the result also found different findings on its sound. In pronouncing sound the, the student mastery level in pronouncing sound the was categorized as unsatisfactory. And for the sound the, it was categorized as very weak, and for the sound the, it was categorized as outstanding. It means that the most problematic sounds to be pronounced by the student was the sound the, which shows a lower score. The student who perceived incorrectly had difficulties in distinguishing between sound the, with sound the, 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 li, and the, sound the, with sound the, the, and the, and sound the, with sound the, the, and the. While in pronunciation test of sound the, the student who pronounce incorrectly tend to pronounce sound the, 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 and the instead of sound the, and some student did not pronounce or skip the word, the sound the in the final position of the word. Then, in the pronunciation of the sound the, the, the student who pronounce incorrectly tend to pronounce sound the, 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 and the instead of sound the. It happened because the sound do not exist in their mother tongue. And then for the suggestion, first, the student can get benefit from the result of the study by knowing their pronunciation level so that they will be have more motivation to improve their pronunciation, especially in pronouncing English sound th, th, and th. Then the student have to be more care about their English skill they can improve their pronunciation skill by listening to English audio sources and create their own English environment with, the fr with their friend by discussing and sharing something in English. Second, the researcher hope that the teacher will be more care about the student problem in the pronunciation of some th, th, and th. Therefore, the teacher should give an explanation about the possible mistakes that the student might make in the pronunciation of sound th, th, and th. While facing word with sound th, th, and th, the teacher are suggested to focus and thrill the student with the correct pronunciation of this word. 
The teacher also suggested to ask the student to practice by asking them to read or repeat and give a correction if there are still mispronounced words. Moreover, the result of this study also challenged the teacher to learn pronunciation more fluently. It is needed because the student often learn through often learn through the model given by the teacher. Last, it is suggested for future researcher to conduct research with a bigger sample size so it will obtain more data, more and more concrete conclusion about the student problem in the pronunciation of the sound th, th and th. The future researcher is also suggested to provide more word and more combination of the abstraction to get a better result in analyzing student pronunciation. Moreover, the researcher hopes that there will be follow-up studies about the pronunciation of sound th, th and th, which will find different factors and different replacement that the respondent make so that this finding would support this study. And that's all from me. And thank you. Wassalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.